what do we have here? What we have here is a detent that's just too freaking strong. Like, it should be popping right now. I'm trying to keep my fingers off of the lock bar, but still, okay, it's a little easier if I have my fingers directly off the lock bar. It's actually not too bad, but when you reverse flick it, it's pretty hard to do. And then the thumb flick, I can do it sometimes. Let's see if I get my fingers off that lock bar. Okay, no, can't really do it too well. God damn it. So we're just gonna lighten the detent up just a bit. It's just gonna take a little bit of messing. So we'll take these screws out in fast motion so you don't have to uh, sit through it and hear, listen to me babble while I do it. Okay, this is what we wanted. We wanted that blade. We wanted to see that blade and get in there. So this is the washer from the other side. That's the bearing. And the important part is this little bit, the detent hole right here. That's the important part right there. This little detent right here, that little ball, it gets caught in that hole. And well, it's supposed to, it's supposed to get caught in the hole and that's what keeps your blade when it's closed from just flopping open, right? It's sitting in there and that little ball is sitting into that little hole. The ball is in the hole and it can't move too easy and then it pops out of the hole and it opens up. So as you, uh, you know, go to flick your knife with the, uh, with the flipper, it has to pull itself out of that. It has to, the hole has to pull itself past that little ball and then it can open. So if it's too strong of a detent, all you have to do is put a little, little ramp going into that hole from this line that goes around. That's the track of the detent ball that it rubs on the blade so you can tell right where it goes into the hole. Here's what a ramp kind of looks like because they put a ramp, Tucson puts a ramp on the other side where the ball rides up onto the blade and that's supposed to kind of smooth everything out as you close the knife from being locked open. But we want to put a ramp at this end to where when you open the knife, it's a little bit easier. So that's what we're going to do. So I got this Dremel and I have it set on the lowest speed setting. Um, and I have this specific type of bit in it. And I'm going to just touch it a couple of times right here until I put a little bit of a ramp down into the detent. I think that's all it's going to need is that little bit of a ramp. So we'll see. We'll put it back together and we'll see. And we did see and we saw that it was good. And we see, we see it and we saw it seesawed. Um, what the fuck I'm talking about. But so we put the uh, knife back together and the new detent pressure was perfect. So now it just takes a little pressure to get it to go not uh like 15 pounds like it's a smith and wesson trigger or something <laughs> i'm kidding smith and wesson triggers are fine um and i just wanted to mention too that the uh, T well, ts64 i think ts65 ts64 it's one of those uh really great knife man just it just uh, always stays in my top 10, my top carry, it stays right near the edge of my knife holder so that this is one that always comes out. It just has, here, let's listen to the sound. The sound is pretty excellent. You hear that little zip before it opens all the way? Let's see, come on. That's nice, right? Then the clothes, even the clothes sounds nice. Very nice. It has just a really, really solid feel 
uh, good and grippy because of the, you know, not because of a texture, but because of the mechanical differences on it, the little holes and stuff. They actually just, you know, hold your hand. You're, you're not, you're not dropping this thing. It's not falling out of your hand. Um, and of course it used to be more like a kind of a big bulgy part up here, but it still looked cool. I mean, I like the harpoon better, but originally it looked cool too. And I like harpoons though, so it's got to be a harpoon. The windows are cool. You know, the downside is it's a tad heavy. Okay. It's a bit heavy. Five ounces, six ounces, somewhere in there, I think probably. Um, reverse flick is excellent. Now I can thumb flick it with that. Well, I had to miss the first one. It's not easy to thumb flick. You still got to kind of get the fat of your thumb down in there and then pop it. But it's doable before it just wasn't doable. Now you can get your thumb down in there. You can open it slow too. Pretty easy. Nice slow roll. Anyway, uh, with that little bit of detent work and a little bit of blade work, it's just like one of my favorite knives. So... Don't pass it up if you get a chance on the TS-64, I think. I'll fix it up here if it's not that. Have a nice day.